Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly reading for October 18th, 2020. I know I usually do a self-improvement uh, reading, but I'm just going to let the cards talk and whatever it is, it is. Could be self-improvement, could it be about your career, could be about love. We're just going to see what happens. Okay, Libra? So we're going to start with the spell casting Oracle cards because, well, I love these cards. They shuffle so nicely. And by the way, if this resonates, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'd love it. Also, if it doesn't resonate, check your rising and your moon sign. If it seems like a love reading, check your Venus sign. So what'd you get? Oh, life purpose. I love this card. And it, I always find it so humorous because here it looks like the moon is up there, right? But then you see these other circles. And then you look here and you think, well, wait a minute, this is the reflection. This is actually the reflection of the water and this is the real one. It's so funny to me because, oh, okay, I'm watching old movies and I don't know that any of you who've been watching would know it, but there's a famous old movie, Imitation of Life. It has nothing to do with this other than that's what came to mind. It's like your life purpose, like you think you're doing it, but maybe you're not. Why am I doing cards? Sorry. I'll just shut up now, Libra, and go back to the reading. So with this deck, this has the spellcasting oracles, of course, and what it does is it has spells. So if you're into spells, screenshot this, and there you go, okay? I'm going to read the uh, magical guidance, which I don't normally do, but I like. You have an important life purpose, and it's time to stop playing it safe. You've always felt different and special, but life has just got in the way. Even though you're felt a calling. You're not actually sure what it is you're meant to do. The light of your inner knowing beckons you to take the steps to embark on a new task while embracing a positive attitude. As the sun comes out to greet you, it highlights the path you're to take. There may be diversions along the way, but each is designed to fuel you with the gift of experience that your soul requires in order for you to complete your mission. Now, another thought came to mind. I have been listening to somebody who did an audio of a uh, girl wipe your face off or something like that. And that's exactly what that makes me think of because it's your life experience. She talks about getting published and how, you know, people think it just, you just get published. And she's like, no, she kept trying and trying. And all those experiences that she had in the interim Libra are what gave her the 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 stuff to write about so libra life is giving you whatever you need to actually fulfill your purpose which of course if what you need is not good experiences i'm sorry i, I know life can be rough especially right now okay libra wow okay then so let's see we got one card cards for libra for the week of october 18th 2020 Libra cards for sweet. Oh boy. Five. Whoa. Okay, so we have one. You know, I always do this. It's two. It's three. And four. So, four. Three. Two. One. And <laughs> hold on, you're falling out of my hands. I wouldn't even been a card pick. It would have been like a drop. Okay, so what do we got here? <laughs> well, Libra, this is very, very uh, interesting because you got the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a self-imposed prison. And that's called the self-imposed prison because nothing's on her tightly. She could wiggle out of that, you know? She's like, it almost looks like she's, she's peeking. She's peeking. She's just not looking. So to me, it's like, you're not, you're just not. <laughs> and you need to, you, you need to open up your eyes because that's what you're not seeing and you're stuck, which would be the four of pentacles. That's being stuck. They call him a miser too, but he's so busy holding on. He's not moving. He can't walk. He can't move his arms. He can't even turn his head around to look at the, the buildings behind him. And it seems to be that you may be stuck in a pattern of working. 
Eight of Pentacles, hard at work. Just working, working, working. So it's just slow and steady. Slow and steady, working. You're prepared. Nine of pen nine of wands, just the and you're just in your head. You're miserable. <laughs> That's what this says to me. You have the nine of wands, you have the nine of swords, sleepless nights. Wow. So I'm gonna look nine of wands in the little book. Yeah. Wounded, worried man braces for the next salvo. This is the eye of the storm. The situation will worsen before it improves, <laughs> but you are prepared. Wow, that's something to look forward to. I'm so sorry. Libra is in my sign also, so I'm I'm not looking forward to this either. But it looks like you're prepared. I always think of the Nine of Wands as being prepared. I don't know. Because it's like he's got them all set up. He's just standing there waiting. He's protecting. And I think that you're worried. And that's why you have the Nine of Swords. So here, let's get some more cards for Libra. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh boy, and one. Okay, so the cards that came out are the three of pentacles. <laughs> and now for you to get through this and to end this misery, I think that you need to talk to somebody else. The Three of Pentacles is working on a team. And this to me, being that you start out with life purpose, this could be you consulting a friend, a parent, a therapist. It could be a therapist. It could be a career coach. Because, you know, you're going to do this. If you look for help, you get help, you work on a team, you have to be patient. But you know, temperance is just slow and patient because that's what helps you. And you have this new start, page of pentacles, new start, career or job. And with that new start, you have the wheel of fortune. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus, but the wheel of fortune is things t turning in your favor. So to me, this means that whatever you're doing, you're, you are definitely going through a cycle of not being happy, a lot of misery. It's like, when will the next shoe drop? And what you need to do is you need to talk to somebody else so they can help you work through it. Because when you do, there is someone who helps you, who gives you that leg up. Be patient. It's happening. There will be a turn in your favor. Whew. So deep breath, okay, Libra? It does change. Be patient with yourself and don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay? So... Thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye-bye.